Hey you guys, what's going on? It is me, Taffy, and welcome back after an extended absence to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Man, for some reason my voice feels louder than it normally is. Uh, I peeked in to realize that we have a zero run, which is so cool. Uh, we're going to leave the D12 out of it. I'm irritated at myself. I want to go back and watch the old run and see what happened. Uh, blue baby, that's fine. Maybe it was a, was it a blue baby run that did us in? I don't remember. Uh, I do remember that I don't want to buy popcorn. L two seven H X C K K. Um, Taffy, you've been gone forever. What's going on, man? Are you dead? I heard you had AIDS. I heard you had cancer AIDS of the vagina, and that uh, one of your kids turned out to actually be a, a werewolf, and that you were taking him to the Mayo Clinic because they had the world's leading lycanthropy. Um, research institute it's all it's all uh, record label launch man and, and it's ultimately i was talking to sticks about it earlier is that i have sort of an obligation to see this through as hard as i possibly <laughs> sorry hard I, cause juvenile um i have an obligation to see this through basically as fierce as fiercely as i possibly can uh because it really is my best opportunity to uh, define a living for myself and right you know as of right now like i've i've managed to squirrel away money from endeavors in the past that didn't work out some of those had to do with like things i was doing with rob uh and ultimately you know what i'm gonna go back and check these other rooms i'm gonna go back and check these other rooms because i'm hoping that there will okay i'm hoping that there will be a uh, a curse room or something like that because with the extra heart i feel like it's worth our time uh, some of the things that I did with like Rob and Ian and that kind of stuff uh, before I got into like the label and all that goodness is I've, I've managed to squirrel away enough money to live like people ask about that but they do it through like the side of their little mouth where it's just like I know I'm not supposed to ask about this but how does Taffy live um you know it, it uh, I, I Amber and I budget well and so we got a little bit of and I mean a little bit of money from some endeavors that we fiddled, uh, fiddle fucked around with for a little while, and uh, because we've managed to not change our lifestyle since we were like 25 and living on a couple hundred dollars a week, uh, we've managed to stretch that, and we never go on. Uh, this, this part makes me sad. We never go on dates. We never really take vacations together. Uh, she and I fucking never leave the house. We don't, we don't do anything because we can't, well, I don't want to say we can't afford, we choose not to afford a babysitter, uh, because we just know that it, when you're a grown-up and you've got kids, it costs you like 20 bucks just to leave the house. It costs you $20 to leave the house, and that's like, um, you know, unless you're making a real grown-up wage working a real grown-up job, you can't afford to do that, and so everything for me and Amber since 2012 has been... Uh, ha has been an investment in trying to figure out what the future of the family is going to be and this has been no different and the, the majority of uh, everything that's been done as of late has been done uh, in, in sacrifice and homage to uh, 99 lives which I, I don't think I've done a video in long enough that it's worth mentioning uh, we launched we launched last weekend and then we were still spackling the cracks and putting Bondo on parts of the car that need some you know touching up but for the most part uh, worth noting that, that last weekend the 99 lives music and YouTube channel was the fastest growing YouTube channel for about 36 hours we were the fastest growing YouTube channel on all of YouTube in the world uh, and so to, to you know the members of the denizen community who have had a hand in that and you know there there were a significant number of you who did I, like i've pointed out on a handful of occasions that there were denizens that have gone over into 99lives.com and 99lives youtube uh they've gone into there like mr heebie is always my code to go to example he go he went in before the launch and explained the licensing to people because he just wanted them to get it he, like they wanted it he wanted them to understand so that we could be successful and I could have some sort of job security in my life. Um, so you guys played a hand in that and then Ian came up clutch and did a video on his channel and literally a quarter million people went over and subscribed in like a weekend. 
uh, which is just lunacy. It's just lunacy. But at the same time, it's it's just it, it also is one of those situations where, fuck, is this gonna kill me? I'm going big. Oh, we can't lose anything. Like honest to god, we can't really lose anything. Oh, that's so that's also huge. Okay, so I would like to buy Bob. I'd like to solve the puzzle. I just mixed up like every. I just mixed up like every game show I could possibly think of in my head. Uh, I would like to solve the puzzle, Bob. I'd, I'd also like to thank you for guest uh, hosting Wheel of Fortune. I know that normally the Price is Right is your thing, but I didn't. I, you know, now that I know you're a wheel watcher, man, Vanna White is she still doing that? She's still doing that, huh? Vanna, she's hot. I don't care. I don't care. Even whatever she is, like 70 years old right now, still hot. Still hot. 10 for 10 would bang. Um. So yeah, man, it it, it was uh, it was a relatively successful launch, but we don't get to rest on our laurels. Uh, you know, we've we've done okay for ourselves as a, as a YouTube channel. Uh, we mean the cave have done okay for ourselves. Uh, reputable, like respectable numbers that a lot of people would trade places with. Ooh, man, I am right up against it. Uh, reputable numbers that a lot of people would trade places with in a heartbeat to have, but you know, and I, I don't mean to beat a dead horse here, but uh, we also have have walked away from it all with uh you know a hundred bucks for seven months of work at about 20 20 hours a week of like editing and uploading when i was on my schedule now that said uh i was talking to sticks about this earlier man there is a a prideful part of me that will not go gently into that good night i'm still trying to make twitch work because I, I don't want them to have given me a partnership and then have me just uh shit the bed and, and essentially walk away like Pluto, who's one of their big uh, head of partnership kind, not head of partnership, but he's one of their community manager style head of partnerships, not like the head of partnerships, like the head of partnerships is giving exactly zero shits that I exist. Come on, dude, pop the fuck up. I don't have all day, sorry. Wow, that, I got violent. Um, I didn't have all day though, you know, like the shit was going down and I needed, I needed to move on with my life. Um, so yeah, like Pluto stopped in and he had brought me into a, a partnership thingamajigger and um, I felt bad a little bit because, oh man, that's so close. Uh, I felt a little bit bad because I haven't been participating in their like new partner program. It really wasn't, like I don't want to be a dick either, but it wasn't bringing us a whole lot of benefit. Like we got raided by a couple of people who had no interest in watching somebody, uh, some creepy old man play Isaac, uh, which is a problem when your channel is predominantly a creepy old man playing Isaac. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, I didn't want—I don't want to get the Twitch partnership and then not be there. Uh, YouTube, man, I could, I, some days I could take or leave. It doesn't have anything to do with the the community and the people. You guys are great, and you have been great and continue to be great, day in and day out. But uh, what, uh, it's just—it's tough. It's tough to commit. It's tough to commit the the amount of time if you're not somebody who is making a living doing it, like. NL or I have to assume Bear. I don't think Bear does anything else. Uh, and I'm fucking good for them, man. I'm super happy for them, but um, yeah, if it's just a hobby, like Sticks was saying, it needs to be the thing that you do to relax in your downtime. And there was part of me for a while there that was just like, I feel like I get no downtime from this. And, you know, Sticks nailed it when he was like, dude, this was supposed to be your downtime. Uh, that That's what this big break from YouTube has been, is that it's, it's had to be like, if you're having label problems, I feel bad for your son. I got 99 problems, and they all depend on Ryan to get them done on a, in a timely manner and to a satisfactory level of completion. Shut up, phone. I'm talking. I'm pontificating here. So, uh, I'm going to try my damnedest. Not, I don't want to say to, like, oh, I'm going to stick to a full-blown schedule. I'm probably not going to stick to a full-blown schedule, but I'll, I don't want the cave to wither and die. Now, I've gotten a commitment from our, you know, our mods are going to try to help out by getting... Uh, streaming stuff up. I really want, like, I really want uh, a, a, another spirit heart or two in my life. I thought for sure that, that at some point here we would have bumped into, even inadvertently bumped into another tinted rock or something, but uh, that hasn't been the case. I feel like I'm doing a lost run all of a sudden. So I, you know, I, there's part of me that's, it, I have a hard time not seeing non-adherence to a schedule as failure like oh well, I set up this schedule and I really thought I could keep it back when I had 12 free hours a day because 
I was waiting on paperwork to come through from a lawyer or paperwork to come back from a music manager in, in Europe or something like that. And I'm going to go back to that shop and see if I can buy a spirit heart. And I'm really going to try hard not to walk on those spikes and end my fucking run like an idiot. So when I, when I had a lot of downtime, uh, it, it, it was easy to, not easy, it was still a lot of time commitment, but it was easier to adhere to a sort of schedule that I made up. That feels so much better. I still don't feel good. I still don't feel good, but I feel better. So, um, yeah, there's part of me, the proud, like, very proud part of me that, that, uh, sees that non-adherence to that schedule as, like, a, a failure, a personal failure, and I know that's not true, and I know that all you guys are on the same page with me that, okay, Ryan, you know, we got it. This is conceivably going to be your job, so go get your job. Like, if if a uh, denizen comes to me and says, Hey, Taffy, I'm sorry, I'm going to miss the stream on Wednesday because I have a job interview. Like, nobody would look at that person and be like, No, Stevie L001, fuck your job. You be at the stream because we expect you to. Um, everybody, everybody does and says the right things, but I still, despite being, you know, heavily medicated on Ambien and despite... Can I... Uh, it doesn't go through. Oh, can I can I bait him out? I just I just really don't want to get shot here. Oh, that's so gross. The speed upgrade. Zay do nothing. I'm going to fight that room. I'm going to fight that mob trap room. It's not like we're angling for boss rush here. So yeah, I don't know. It, it's hard. It's hard not to stress myself out because I'm I'm one of those people who who just believes in his heart of hearts that oh well you made an arbitrary schedule and you've got to stick to it oh you didn't stick to it for one day now you fail there's part of me that that has had to deal with that in uh the weight loss uh attempts that i've been making is that there's part of me uh, there's part of me that uh i know in the past has failed at weight training and dieting because i'll i'll miss one day or i'll fuck up my diet for one day and i just I don't want to say I quit, but I'm just like, oh, what's the point, Ryan? You messed up the thing that you had set up in your head for how this was going to succeed. And now your timeline and your pattern's all thrown off. And what's the point of even living? Um, and this time, it's taken hold because I've had a couple of days where I've gone off the wagon and gotten, you know, tater tots or beer or whatever. Uh, but I'm still down like 15 pounds since, since uh, July because... You know, when I've fallen off the horse, I've gotten right back on, and I'm trying really hard to sort of bring that uh, sort of never-say-die mentality to our presence with the cave and, and the, the Twitch presence as well. Um, I don't know. I didn't mean for this to be all, like, apologetic and uh, apologetic and crybaby, but, you know, I've always, uh, I've, I've always felt like you guys deserve to be treated well because you've always treated me well, and I've always tried to, to shoot you straight and be level, and I just know that there are some people... I, I guess, ultimately, and this is probably something in the music industry I'm going to have to get over, I don't like not being liked, and I know that there have to be some people that are like, fuck this guy, I'm out. I'm so tired of his bullshit. He's never uploading anything. This guy can go sit on a splintery wooden stake and spin his asshole. Um, I really wish that I knew where I was going. Not with the, the narrative, that is irre irrevocably lost, but uh, I really wish I knew where I was going on this map. So, the uh, point to take away from it is that I'm, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and accept the fact that when, when there is downtime, there is no downtime, there is no spoon, there is only, there is no Dana, there is only recording work and sleep and some time with the kids. So, uh, you know, even if it's just a little bit here and there, I, I don't, I don't want to bail on you guys again. It felt weird the first time, and I've accepted that with the exception, here's my exception list. Dota, FTL, Hearthstone. Those are the only three games off the top of my head that I can think of that I enjoy playing without people watching. Isaac can eat the peen, man. Like, it, it's okay to play by yourself, but when you've been playing it for an audience as long as I have, it's 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 tough to get up for this game if you're not sharing accomp accomplishments with people, and like, uh, you know, Hearthstone because I think that it's one that I can pick up and set down. And FTL, I don't know why. I don't know why FTL of all games. That's the game that I'm just like I can play this with no one watching because it is so much fun. But something like Hearthstone or Bioshock or something like that, I don't know that I'm sitting all the way through it. Like not 
not with the schedule that I've got, not with the time that I have to keep. Um, you, you know, there is, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff going... Yeah, fuck it. There's a lot of cool stuff going on with the label that has to happen. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I don't know how we managed to not get hit there. Uh, we're gonna get hit here, though. I, I, there's, there's no moving around when you're... When you're guillotined up, it's like for me, it's almost better to hold still. And that sucks because that was a. Uh, oh, that was a. Um, fistula, man. And fistula is is a whole heart of damage. So, anyway, yeah, there's a, most most games I don't. I don't enjoy playing video games if no one's watching, with the exception of. And I shit, you know, I shit you not. Know, just Dota, FTL, Hearthstone. Those are the ones I can think of off the top of my head that I could play without anyone watching. And I'd be like, yep, I am fine doing this. And. The audience is absolutely ancillary. That's a tremendous pickup, man. And that's a tremendous pickup. That was well worth the two bombs, I'd say. Are you a wizard? Uh, I don't want to call it a non-factor, but I'm not uh, content to wait because we have Tech 5, or Tech Point 5. And we actually managed to shoot, to shoot that room up pretty quickly. We diced that up pretty quick, man. There, with my long-winded apology, I guess that's I guess that's what I'm gonna call it. My, it was, it, oh, I got stuck! I got stuck! I got stuck! Uh, I don't want to die here. Oh my god! I can't believe that worked out the way that it did. The fact that we are not uh, critically injured blows my mind a little bit. So uh, yeah, long-winded apology aside, man, and that's certainly not kind of what I set out to do. But I just uh, I. I I know that I go on long breaks, and I don't want you to think that it's like because I've I've forgotten you. And some people joke; they say, "Oh, old Tappy's quote unquote famous now," which could not be further from the truth. But people are like, "Oh, Tappy's famous now; he doesn't need us anymore." And I don't ever want it to feel like I used you guys for moral support or a little bit of spending money uh, via the, the the Twitch channel, and then the moment that I gained momentum on a big project, kind of just hit the bricks and and told you guys to fuck off um i'd be mortified if it felt that way so i think that's why i'm going through such great pains now to you know to say i'm, I'm trying not to give up I'm trying not to give up on you guys and, and it's only because i i want to maintain this incredible community that we've uh, nurtured and brought up together um you guys have worked as hard as i have to pull that off and i don't i don't want to shortchange you guys by basically abandoning the post as your as your curator and that's kind of what i've said that i'd do for us all along so uh, yeah we'll, we'll go ahead and do this because we got magic mushroom okay ah uh, uh, give me oh i was gonna say you could just oh shit i took my hands off the keyboard i think it would work if we took flight and then abaddon i'm doing it okay here we go Oh, I don't think I can take it. I can't take it. Oh, my heart stopped for a second there. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. All right, we haven't been to... Yeah, that's so good. I thought for a split second, I just... I wasn't sure if we were coming out of that okay. Uh, I want Hive Mind. Because... What if? What if we get Guppy? What if we get... Uh, Infestation 2 or Spider Baby or, or was it Yogurt Baby? We get Spider Berries Revenge. Um, what if we get one of those things and and we'll be more sad that we don't have this than pissed off that we spent the money on that as opposed to what? Starter Deck? Whoop the fucking do, Basil. What does it all mean? Wow, this room ended up being completely worth it. One third cat, half a spirit heart cost, and. Uh, or no, we half a spirit heart gained. We still haven't seen our, our item room, have we? Like, am I imagining that? Have we not seen our item room? Is it this way? Nope. I want to see... Oh, we did. What was it? It was guillotine, right? That's where this nightmare, nightmarish hellscape began. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep trying. So if you, if you guys... I mean, there are a lot of you that waited a year for me to upload again. If you're going to insist on, on sticking with me here, then I'm going to insist on not giving up on this aspect of it. There may be more stream highlights... Then there are original videos for a while, um, and that's because that's where the moderators can help, and they have insisted that they want to help keep us afloat. So there may not be as many original videos uh, as there were, and Eric, you know, Eric's gotten busy, so the 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 super cool stream highlight edited packages that we were spoiled to have for a little while, uh, unfortunately, aren't. It's it's going to be more kind of just like, hey, this cool thing happened, and we put it up for you guys to see. 
But uh, if you're o if you're okay with that, then fuck it. That's that's what we'll do, and that's how we'll roll for a little bit. I don't know where our, all my enemies are. Uh, cool things that happen now that my weird Mia culpa is 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 kind of uh, finished, I guess. Cool things happen. We were, uh, like, as I mentioned before, we were the most subscribed YouTube channel on the planet for about 36 hours, which is nuts. That is, that is Ian, man. Like, that is, okay, we all did work, and we all contributed in such a way that, that when people got there from Ian, they were like, oh, I'm going to stick around, because this, as EDM music places go, is awesome. Um, that, that's, that's Sam doing the, doing the CEO stuff and the networking. That's Conrad doing a and r uh and, and making sure that we have better music than we thought we could possibly get on our first album uh which uh this room's really scary we had much better music than we thought we could even get because we were like we didn't exist we didn't exist how do you sell somebody on a company that doesn't exist you have to show up and be like hey you guys should trust me we're gonna be awesome and then that's all they've got to go on i mean we had sam and we had ian and everything but even with that it's like oh jesus i worked on this song you know whatever song it is it's like i worked on this song for a really long time and put all of my heart and soul into it and you guys are asking me to literally just give like give it to you in its entirety i'm doing i'm doing this we're gonna blow him up sorry judging survival of the fittest dog you're asking people to give you their 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 babies uh, which, you know, if you're any sort of artist, if you're a sculptor or a painter or a musician, it's definitely a musician, but if you're a sculptor or a painter or something like that, you get it, man. Um, if I show up and I say, hey, what's your favorite thing that you've made? And you go, oh, well, it's this thing. I worked on this for two months. And I say, great. I want you to give it to me and trust me when I say I will make it work for you. And you'll go, okay, great. You have a long-standing, established art dealership, I'll assume. And my response is, no, but I really want it. And I think that I can make that thing that you talked about with the words that came out of your head holes. And it's like, oh, okay, that seems plausible enough to me. And I'm like, well, if it helps, one of my, one of my business co-founders is uh, wealthy and, and moderately, uh, is wealthy and moderately famous. And it's like, that sounds pretty cool as a pitch inside your head. And then you take it to somebody and they're like, well, they had that, that good for him, but I don't know necessarily how that benefits me. And you're like, oh, because did I mention that I want the thing that you have? Um, so it's hard. So for, you know, Conrad and Sam to do a hell of a job pitching people and telling them that they should give us that thing that they hold so dear to their hearts and then for them to trust us and give it to us. Um, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a compliment to the artists as well that... Uh, at least in these early going stages, things are going as well, if not better, than we had originally hoped. Uh, and they trusted us that we would not screw them over and take their music for no good reason. Because legally, once we own it, man, we kind of own it. Like, we own the publishing rights to it. We have to, to make sure that people can use it uh, without fear of, like, you know, being copyright stricken or whatever. But, um, wow, these are really bad. I'm going to do this since we have PhD, though. Uh, guppy? Ooh, don't tease me. Don't tease me. Come on. Come on. Oh, I am the cat. Call her. Call her paw tail. I am the cat. I am the walrus. Cuckoo choo choo game. Oh, suck the mighty veiny peen. I don't really want to look. This is a one run. So let's just, let's just leave. So, uh, yeah, so the, the, everybody did a good job, but Ian, man, he pushed a buttload of people there, and we had a good product waiting for them. So there's tons of stuff that we can always be doing to be moving forward. Like a shark, if you don't move forward, you know, if you don't swim forward, you, you die, you drown. So, um, is that a phone call? I was just like, nobody calls my actual phone. Uh, no, I take that back. I've been getting a lot of robocalls from, like, telemarketers and stuff. Uh, I don't know how that shit happened. I'm going to blame Wells Fargo. It's probably not Wells Fargo's fault, but it's the only person I can think of to blame. Uh, because after I started like doing like real grown-up banking, that's when all the robocalls started showing up. That ain't okay. So anyway, yeah, no, uh, most subscribed YouTube channel on the planet for a day, or for like a day and a half. Uh, still continuing to grow at like four and five digit subs a day. Um, you know, that doesn't really mean a thing until you reach the, the mega numbers of the, you know, the Ian's of the world. Um, but 
it's a start, and it's it's a certainly a better start than not having all of that. I don't remember what you do. I I think that does nothing for me because I am blue baby. But I'm not I'm not about to stop and and nitpick and worry about it now because we are we are kind of crushing it. I'm gonna take this with me because ultimately I think that's gonna be an extra item on the chest. I don't think it's gonna be something that we need to take with us to the. Uh, I don't think we need to take um, bombs or key with us. You know what I mean? What else? What else? What else? We are co-sponsoring with Curse Network a build guild party at TwitchCon. I double booked myself, man. I'm bummed out. I thought I was going to go to TwitchCon. I'm not going to TwitchCon. I double booked myself. Uh, Boise State is coming into town to play Virginia, the Cavaliers, the Wahoos uh, of the University of Virginia. And Boise State's coming to play them in football. And before I knew there was even a TwitchCon, because they hadn't really set the dates yet, uh, I convinced like all of my family members to basically all my family members to come down and uh, watch the Boise State game with me. So um, we are we are sponsoring, co-sponsoring uh, a live event for a bunch of your favorite and my favorite streamers. Um, while TwitchCon's going on at a place called Neck of the Woods in San Francisco. Uh, so it's a it's an invite only party for all the famous yuckety yucks, uh, but the really cool famous yuckety yucks like we already we you know me I I don't I don't associate with the d bag yuckety yucks you only do that you make that mistake once, um, but yeah so we're, we're you know working really hard to get the get get the product into the hands of uh, people who, who can help influence our fate because there are a lot of folks out there that are supporting us and. and uh, not just like oh like yay go team but like guys like bacon donut who are like legit down to clown they are down to help um god bacon's such a cool dude i cannot wait to, to see him again irl and put my hands around his neck uh for hugs not for like murder but uh yeah we're doing that that's a new development we're talking to all sorts of cool people um not, like not just cool people but like cool like, opportunities to to sort of already grow and expand and, and and be better from on a day-to-day -day basis it's just uh it's exciting and the the the, the trade-off is it's time consuming because we're we're trying to do a lot fast man we're trying to do a lot fast it's not something where we want to take several years and grow organically out of the gate we want to grow organically but we want it to be like uh the horse is pulling the wagon but we're also behind the wagon and pushing it at the same time so it, yeah, it's, it's cool, man. Everything like it, I'm, I'm quote unquote the the chief operating officer, and it's the only. Everybody else has titles that when you go to like Google and look them up, uh, Google will basically tell you what you do for a living. And mine was uh, chief operating officer. I don't know whatever the CEO asks him to do. And I was just like, oh, wow, this is a fucking huge floor. Um, so yeah, my, my role was, I don't know, what else what else is not being done? Um, so a lot of stuff is falling into my lap to, to do, and it's fine, I'm happy to do it. Um, wow, there's a lot of pin fights on this floor. It's fine, and I'm happy to do it, and it's cool, and it means that, you know, if this were to go right and, and become a big thing, and like a global brand, that's better. That's better than the bombs, I think. Because we have such well, we don't have such good pills. We have we have PhD, which has kind of profited us with mediocre pills at best. Wow, we just exploded a monster on contact. That's the damnedest thing I've ever. Well, it's not the damnedest thing I've ever seen, but it is a far cry from you know slowly dying on our last run. Telepills? Yeah, sure. I just, you know why not? When you're doing that to the, to to the game, why not just shit all over it? Oh, but it took us so far back. Well, I guess there is a key here. Or not a key, uh... Posh. Posh spice in a cab. Um, so yeah, it, 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 you know, if we build it right, I'm such a, I'm such a pragmatist and a pessimist and like a, a worry wart. So, you know, it's always, if we build it right, if we do it right, like there's never like, when we're billionaires, because I... I feel like I heard a lot of that over like the last year and for me it didn't really come to pass and so there's a lot of like keep your nose to the grindstone and just keep working mentality sort of a Donner's party of music labels I guess that's so awesome I was actually just thinking we could use a, a, a top up on keys 
So, you know, I don't I don't want to make it sound like there's part of me that doubts. I just, I never want to give myself too much. I, what was it I said earlier? I don't want to break my arm patting myself on the back for something we haven't finished doing yet. Oh, we got a... Uh, we got hive mind too because because taffy was like hey you want to talk about being the optimist i was like hey what if we get guppy we'll be happy we have hive mind now who looks like uh who looks like a, a modern day nostradamus i don't know what nostradamus looked like i don't know if that's a failure on my part as a prognosticator or if he's just was relatively hard to photograph because of the lack of photographic materials at the time i don't know man i'm just saying I'm not trying to be a Debbie Downer, and I'm not trying to, to poo-poo on my own burgeoning company's existence. Yeah, Abel, there's a one run. Um, I'm just trying to stay grounded, and so um, it would be cool if, if and when this thing, you know, succeeds, then it would be something that would keep me in the industry with a reason, and not just like other than like, oh yeah, Tappy, he's like the gaming industry's herpes. He just doesn't go away. Um, what the fuck? Are you serious? This is not the not the boss fight? Wow, that blows my mind. But it would be a legitimate reason for me to stick around other than Taffy just likes being here, so he spends a lot of money to fly to conferences instead of sending his kids to Ivy League schools. Uh, enjoy enjoy community college, Grayson. I'm sure your fragile little mind will flower there uh, on a on an in-state scholarship. Uh, really? Wow, we could already be done with this floor because it was like almost exactly by where we spawned. So, yeah, we're going to PAX. <clears throat> we're going to PAX. We are collectively going to TwitchCon, but I will not be going. I think Nate and... and ooh, that's really good. Nate and Sam will be there. Conrad might. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'll just pick it up for the shits and giggles because it's not like I'm coming back. And I'm probably not going to take damage here. Jesus, you're shitting on this game. I am so dumb. Uh, I'm probably not going to take damage here. <laughs> so, uh... So, yeah, it, you know, it gives me a reason to be here. And you see so many people, like, uh, that, that have come up at the same time that, that I, I came into this community uh, who have found their niche. And, um... I want a niche. You know, like... I, I, I want to have a, a purpose and a reason. And I feel like this... This gives it to me, and I, I'm, I would be very happy to to show up at, at, at uh, you know conferences or to show up at events and and not always all like not always have to constantly be explaining why I'm there or who I'm there with. Like that's the other thing that always would get me for a long time was like, hey, my name's Ryan. I'm a perpetual plus one at these things. Where I thought I saw an X. Did I not see an X? I guess I didn't see a tinted rock. Um, yeah, you know, I'm really tired of being a perpetual plus one at these things. There's part of me that wants to have, have created my own reason to be there. And, um, I, this is it, man. This is it. And it, this is it because I've got awesome, I've got awesome business cards on the way. So that's how you know it's legit. And so <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to, yeah, bomb the people are going to do that. Uh, that's what I'm going to tell myself. And so, you know. Uh, it, it, it's exciting. It's exciting stuff. So we're trying to, to grow it quickly and responsibly, and we're trying to build it well. Uh, and we've got the support of already amazing people. Uh, Bodel, uh, Bacon Donut, Sevitus, uh, a lot of the members of, team, or of Nerd Fusion. Um, I sent, you know, uh, we, we sent out a ton of, a ton of complimentary uh, codes to, to people to give out to their streams and stuff like that. And... Uh, the general consensus is that people are impressed and happy and want us to continue to try to do our thing because they want us to stick around. And I would be thrilled to oblige them, man. Thrilled to oblige them. I gotta get myself mentally prepared for Dark Souls tonight. We're still gonna try to stream this evening. I had to cancel last night's stream to take uh, phone calls. Yeah, I'll do that. I had to cancel last night's stream to take phone calls until about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, West Coast. I have to, the, the, the tricky part is that because of because EDM music, um, because EDM music, I have to wake up early enough to talk to people in Europe, but then I have to stay up late enough to talk to people in California, like Evan Eckhard, and uh, that that can be that, that's that's the old wake up at seven, go to bed at ten mentality that, that makes it's with little things like that you just, i just i don't say i don't want to say you don't think of them because maybe you guys are just like the first thing out of your head is like uh tap you're gonna have to deal with guys in europe and in california and i'd be like wow you guys thought of that i did not because i really didn't um 
full health. Wow, these are like some useless ass uh, items for the most part that we picked up. But that's fine. We're overpowered to the point of it being absurd. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be at the bottom here. So let's, let's go ahead and, and pull it all together. Ooh, homing tiers would be really cool for tech point five, like all the time. I think we got that because of the $3 bill. And it's it's cool. It, it, we're fine. We'll, we'll survive without having any further upgrade to our, to our build. But... High in the sky, man, as long as we're looking for that little extra oomph. Gee, many Christmas. Take that, Haunt. Like, where, where's your mad skill now? Nowhere. That's where. My shit talking, apparently, has gone lacking. I want to say somebody was really impressed with the... Uh, if you're having label problems, I feel bad for your son. I got 99 issues, but a bomb ain't one. Um, yeah, some, somebody was like... I, I said something about, I don't know fucking a dog. I, it was some stupid thing that I shouldn't have said that still escaped my mouth uh, during a stream. And somebody was just like, that's the best! And I was just like, I feel like our standards have gone lax in these streams since the, since last we spoke. I went and saw Mad Max Fury Road again last night at the Dollar Theater. Like, there was a late, late showing that actually started after when our stream would have ended. I uh, went and saw that with my buddy Andrew, man. That movie is is insane and perfect. It is a popcorn fever dream thrill ride that is... Uh, my, my wife will hate it, which is why I know that I'll enjoy it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, the commentary was all over the place, and I know that it was like strangely apologetic and, and wishful and negative and positive all at the same time, but there's a lot of shit to get off my chest. The highs and the lows of getting like a quarter million subs in essentially a weekend... And then realizing that just the workload is only going to get heavier. Uh, it's cool, and I, I just want to keep sharing it with you guys. That's, I guess, the onus of what I'm trying to get to. If you made it all the way to the end of this meandering fucking train wreck, uh, I want to keep sharing it with you guys. It, it matters to me that, that the denizens continue to be involved, uh, because you guys have been from the start. So I'm going to do my best to, to hold up my end of the bargain there. Uh, and you guys, as long as you keep the faith, I'll keep trying to, to, to pull it back together. So... Thank you guys for tuning in on behalf of the rest of the denizens of the cave and myself and my moderators who are posting videos for me this week, uh, stream clips from Twitch and whatnot. My name is Taffy. I will see you next time, and I am out.